Hey, Todd Usher with Addison Homes, and today we are gonna install a whole home energy monitoring system. So today we're at one of our high performance homes and we are going to retrofit this house with something we're now installing on all of our new homes and that is a whole home multi-circuit energy monitoring system. Why might we want to do this? Well, we want to give the homeowner some active feedback on not only how much energy they're using in the house total but also on what particular loads are using the most energy. So the way we go about doing this is we kind of pick some of the target loads that we think will make the greatest impact for the client, and we're gonna connect the system to monitor those loads. We can always change it up later. We find that being able to track particularly heating and cooling loads, water heating consumption, and also how much energy we're producing from the solar photovoltaic system is very useful information to ensure that a home is operating correctly and one that we're building knowledge on how well a home is performing compared to how we projected it to perform with our energy models on the front end. I just wanna take you through this pretty simple installation Although I will put the warning out there, if you're not a licensed electrician, I happen to be, then you should not do this yourself. We have to take the cover off the electrical panel. And in some cases, there might be live feed coming into the electrical panel if you're unable to shut it off at the house level. Now, in this case, we're able to shut off the entire panel so we can work safely in there and not worry about any electrical hazards. But word of caution, if you're not an electrician, don't try doing this yourself. Let's kind of take a look at the contents in our, in our Emporia system. We have what are called CTs, or current transformers. These actually lock, snap lock around a wire, and they can measure the amount of electrical current flowing through this little transformer here. These plug back into the transmitter unit and all of this resides inside the electrical panel. We are gonna have to wire some power off of one of the breakers in here for the Emporia unit to run and then we're gonna have to connect it to the home's Wi-Fi so that the homeowner can see and read out what's going to be shown on the, the energy monitor. Now, the cool thing about Emporia, it only costs about $175. So very reasonable cost device to install for this purpose. And it also will allow us to track not only instantaneous energy use, but energy use by, I believe, minute, definitely by hour, by day, by week, by month, and by year. So we can look at data off of this unit going back historically on our homes and we can see what the trends are. We can look at month of the year, see what's happening in the winter versus the summer, and truly get a good picture of how the energy is being used in the house. So let's get started with the install. I mentioned to you the current transformers. The transmitter unit also has an antenna. So we're gonna connect the antenna because it needs a good Wi-Fi signal. We have two main transformers on the main power feeds from the meter into the house. And then we have up to 16 individual small transformers that are actually gonna allow us to monitor individual loads. You can use one transformer for a 120 volt load, or you could use two for a single 240 volt load. If the 240 volt load is balanced, meaning each leg of 120 uses the same amount of power, you can get away with just using one current transformer and then you can program in the monitor that it's a 240 load and it'll just double that. And then we just need to keep track of which current transformers we're putting on which circuits 
so that we can label them in the software and track what they do. You're gonna see this is probably gonna be a 20 minute install or so that's gonna give us quite a bit of insight into how this home's performing. Let's get rolling. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the large current transformers on the, the system up here. These are directional, so it's got an arrow that points to the direction of the breaker. So we have to make sure that we're installing this correctly in the, in the right direction. Once we have both of the main CTs installed, then we're gonna go to the individual CTs that are gonna actually track the individual loads. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us the total consumption of the home. Then from that total consumption, it's gonna give us the breakdown of individual circuits, which will be from the small current transformers. Between what they're measuring and what the total is measuring, we're gonna get the net difference that we're not tracking. So it's gonna tell us, hey, this is the total load, these are the individual loads that you're tracking, and then here's those loads that aren't being tracked. So we got the two main current transformers on here. Now we're going to decide which loads we want to track. So I'm gonna take a look at the, uh, the labels on our breakers and determine which one makes the most sense to track. Now this house has solar, so I'm gonna put one current transformer on the 240 volt solar that's being supplied. That is gonna allow us to measure how much we're generating. This house also has electric car charging stations. So I'm probably gonna put a couple of CTs, one on each electric car charging station so that they'll be able to see how much power they're putting into their car batteries. We'll also measure heating and cooling. We have a whole home ventilating dehumidifier. We'll probably measure that separately. And we have a heat pump water heater on this house that we'll be interested in tracking as well. I used to measure the uh, dryer and used to measure some of the appliances, the cooking appliances, but I found that tracking those over time, they use a lot of energy when they're being used, but they're intermittent enough that they really don't represent a huge portion of the overall profile of energy use in a home. So I'm probably gonna figure out using uh, some of these CTs to measure plug loads. We'll see, as I lay it out, I'll, uh, I'll get into that and we'll talk about it at the end. So the thing I like to do at this point is clean up the panel. I like to get everything just, just kind of neatly twist tied together, all of the wires so that this isn't gonna look like such a jumbled mess. It's gonna be a little bit of a jumbled mess, but the cleaner we can make this install look, the nicer it will be for the next person that actually comes in and works in the electrical panel here. I labeled, actually made a list, decided how I wanted things to be broken out, and I wrote down my list. On this particular house, we're just doing eight circuits. So I wrote down what I'm gonna measure, two car chargers, the water heater, the fridge, a kitchen circuit, the outdoor units for the AC, the indoor units, and the solar. So I'm gonna make sure I can fit the unit in here in the panel quite nicely, and then I'm gonna go start cleaning up my wiring layout here. Okay, so we have completed the install of the Emporia Energy Management System in this particular house. It is now working. We're getting uh, reporting on the app and that's given us uh, some good insight. We'll be able to kind of follow along. Here's the app. We're seeing all of the generation for all of the uh, circuits, including the solar that we have set up monitoring on in this house. So the only thing we have left to do is put the cover on the panel and button this, uh, this system up. We now have our energy monitor in and our clients will be able to see what is going on in their house from here forward with these circuits and as far as the whole home 
energy consumption. And uh, we're gonna have some pretty happy clients. Thanks for following our channel. Appreciate you watching this video. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to our channel, like this video if you've enjoyed it, and uh, follow us on the other social media platforms such as Instagram. Thank you.